Hello everyone, welcome back to my European Space Agency RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I've updated all the mods in an effort to solve the problem with the space station contract pack, but it doesn't look like they've worked on it. Uh, we still have the problem where we can't pick up the two contracts we need to continue with the program, uh, which is this crew your improved space station for 60 days and collect science and then 90 days and collect science. And as you can see here, it says station exists unmet. Uh, so we... Uh, completed a contract for the improved space station and it is the improved space station that's supposed to be crewed but it says that it doesn't exist however if we look at this improved space station contract it says station does not exist unmet which means it recognizes this contract recognizes that the space station does exist and in fact of course we have in our archives the fact that we have completed the improved space station uh, so that's there and weirdly of course, uh, over here, it says that must have completed contract improved space station is met. So it knows that we've completed the contract improved space station, but it doesn't recognize that the station still exists. And um, more problematically, I have not found a way to convince it that the station has, it station actually exists in the uh, persistent file. So we're going to have to set that aside for now. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, maybe after you updated, the station went poof and disappeared or got into a bad orbit that's no longer relevant, right? It has to be between 400 and 500 kilometers. So let's just quickly take a look at the space station. So the space station is here and it is between 400 and 500 kilometers in altitude. So that is no problem. They've made a lot of other changes in the whole business. I wish they would focus on the contracts <laughs> because uh, I'm going to be running out of things to do and I'd like to do more crude things and fixing the space station contract pack seems like it would be a priority instead of changing the way the numbers are displayed in here. I mean, of course, it's not the same people working on the same things. I understand. But, you know, now, of course, in our resources, instead of having long string numbers, which actually I prefer because it gives me a more intuitive sense of everything. I mean, but it's okay. I mean, we have the bars at least, so it's fine. It's better than other renditions of the resources. I'm looking at UKSP2. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's okay, but uh, you know, it's not a big deal either way. And here now we have microliters per second being depleted. I mean, I guess that's very clear about the depletion rate now. Now it won't be negative uh, 0 0.00 or positive 0, 0.00 or something like that. It'll actually show us the depletion rate. And uh, previously it was sort of confusing if it's a positive number it was depleting or negative number it's depleting. I think right now it's pretty clearly a negative number when it's depleting, so that's okay too. Uh, yeah, so we've got changes like that. And I'm sure there are other soul changes. And I wonder if they've made it so that my space plane doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it's possible. But we can't progress on the Earth Space Station contracts. So we might as well do something else. Um, we are still getting paid for them. Uh, that's fine. But uh, the problem is that the other things that we could do will take many years. Right? When it comes to, let's say, a Saturn flyby or something like that. And by the time... Oh, and we have two additional programs here, which aren't probably worth doing. But by the time our probes actually get to Saturn or the outer planets or something like that, we will have run out of time on the crewed, uh, 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 the space station contracts. So I'll need to think about the policy for how we deal with this. We have finished the crewed space plane, uh, crewed space plane development pack, this program. Uh, we have plenty more money to be made on it, but we don't have any program slots and we're just not going to have stuff to do. So, um, or we could just ignore the fact that we don't have contracts, milk the money, and go to Mars. Hmm. <laughs> um, uh, hmm. Isn't that an interesting idea? Maybe we should just send people to Mars. We will need a lot of shielding. And it's got to be heavy. I don't know. Uh, the, the problem is, if we take a look at how much money we're getting paid for this crewed space plane contract, um, the other things aren't going to match with it, right? Especially since we don't have enough confidence to go fast. 
We have plenty of reputation, just no confidence. I wish I could swap those. But none of these pay as well as the crude space plane development program, except for plutonium landing. But that's going to take a long time. Um, right now, Pluto is not in alignment for a uh, boost from Jupiter. And of course, since we have to capture into Pluto orbit, uh, getting a boost from Jupiter is somewhat counterproductive, potentially, because we'll have to slow down from all that extra velocity. And right now, if we take a look at Jupiter, that's Mars, those are not relevant. Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter probably can't boost us to Saturn, could boost us to Uranus and Neptune, but Pluto is behind, so it can't really boost us to Pluto. It would take maybe another 10 years or so before it can boost us to Pluto. Nine or ten years. Uh, same for Saturn, probably. Uh, so, yeah. Right now, if we wanted to, Uranus and Neptune would be things that we could do. As far as Mars, we might as well get a more precise Mars window. This one there. So if we can put something together in 415 days, we could go. That'd be an option, but we're not going to get paid for it. We'll be just doing it pro bono. <laughs> Uh, we could test the vehicle, and then maybe I could cook up a contract pack, but considering the trouble they've had with it... Hmm... Maybe I can just copy the moon landing thing. I mean, I don't see a whole lot of options here. They really just d decided to quit on us after Apollo, didn't they? <laughs> we do the moon landings and that's it. Nothing else. Um, seems weird. I'll get a Jupiter transfer window as well. Any Jupiter transfer window will have the potential to boost us to Uranus and Neptune. So we'll think about that. Um, let me see what happens if I copy the moon landing program and create a new program. Now this is really going to cause problems if I ever try to update the mods, but yeah, let me see what would happen if I do that. Okay, so I have very quickly cooked up a crude Mars exploration program based on what they had. They had a disabled Mars exploration program already in there, and so I sort of copied the funding, extended the duration. Um, it depends on how you feel about what our Mars exploration stuff is going to be like, but might be fast, might be slow, depends on your point of view. This is a 30-year thing, and so it's an extended deal, and then I uh, based the contracts on the lunar contracts. So crude lunar flyby, crude lunar orbit, and crude uh, lunar landing. And so I just replaced Moon with Mars, <laughs> and uh, who knows if that works out or not. But that's what we have here. Uh, the confidence cost was based on what they had for their uh, tentative Mars exploration program. Except theirs would have taken five slots. I've just decided to take four because I have four if I complete the crude space plane development program. Uh, so then we could easily pick that up. So, hmm, this is a very interesting situation. Let's see if the contracts are actually there. And so we have the contracts displayed, launch a new vessel, crude flyby of Mars. Hopefully it's right, but well, we haven't got the, contra uh, the program yet. And I'm just looking through. Oh, this says moon here. So I'll fix that. And um, everything else should be very Marsy. And the question is whether the contracts will work or not, of course. That is a separate issue. Let me fix that one moon phrase. Okay, but there's another thing about this contract that I've now noticed. It says the station exists here, but then it says station exists unmet. Here it says the station exists met. Here it says unmet. Um, so there's some duplication here. So when I take a look at the contract for it, it's not clear why there's a duplication. Here's um, a crew your improved space station for 60 days. That's the one. And um, just going through target body homeworld program active uh, completed improved space station and then the station exists and then vessel at slash station so this seems to be the station exists one that is failing and this is the station exists which is succeeding and this cites you know um 
dollar sign improved station. This cites a different vessel at slash station. Now taking a look at the previous stuff, uh, up here with the improved station, it had string craft in quotes improved space station, which is completely different from everything else. <laughs> um, uh, is anything else referring to that station? I don't know the syntax of these contracts, you see, so I'm trying to tease it out from what I see here, but I don't know the rules. I'll try at craft first and then I'll try dollar sign and see if it works. Okay, well, that attempt definitely did not work, so I've reverted those changes. We've got a very frustrating sort of thing here. Gonna try one more thing, and th it's this requirement that doesn't work. The problem is, it seems to have the station here defined. So, if we do this rendezvous with the station, uh, this probably won't get defined if I get rid of this. Though, then again, it doesn't seem to understand what the station is from this anyway. So, let me just try commenting out this thing. And then maybe we can force... Uh, force complete it if it turns out that that's not good. I mean, the first order of business is we have to be able to pick up the contracts, right? Well, trying to remove that requirement clearly uh, caused a problem here. Um, yep, that re station exists requirement does not it is not fungible. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, it shows up here, but I can't pick it up anyway. So it got rid of the station exists thing, but it doesn't show, it doesn't let me pick it up, even though met, 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 it ain't working. So yeah, that still doesn't work. <laughs> okay, all right, well, I'll just revert my attempts to try and fix this problem. Uh, I might also unzip the saved version of the of the old file so that just in case that exception causes a pers more persistent problem, uh, we can erase that before moving on. Okay, well we're we're back to the status quo where we can't pick up these, and it knows that station two is the improved space station because it's got to uh, add power module and send new crew to it as options, but. It doesn't let me pick up these, and my attempts to try and fix that have failed miserably. So, yeah. Uh, the lingering question is, well, what happens if we tried to... I guess we can't get rid of this program. We're stuck with it. Uh, so, we can complete this, and then... Is it crude Mars exploration? Maybe I should just go for... Uh, what is it? There was... Mars surface exploration, or what happened to Phobos and Deimos? Wasn't there a Phobos and Deimos sort of thing? Hmm. Thought I saw something about Phobos and Deimos somewhere. I don't know what happened to the Phobos and Deimos. There are Phobos and Deimos contracts. Maybe I should cook up another program for Phobos and Deimos as well. Um, so our issue is I could easily do the 60 day and 90 day stays at the station. That's no problem. It's already provisioned for that. And I don't think there was any problem with our crew there. Uh, maybe we should add some more power, but it's not that, I mean, we definitely should add more power. I don't really want to do a rover. But we haven't really landed on Mars at all. So maybe we'll, uh, pick up. If I pick up this one, we might be stuck with the Mars rover thing. So, okay, I've, I've decided. We are going to complete the crewed space plane development program, even though it's way early and we're not going to get most of the money. And we are going to aim instead for the crewed exploration of Mars. Now, we haven't even done Mars surface exploration yet, but rather than pick that contract up separately, we are going to do it as part of this, even though we're not going to get, you know, a separate formal contract for it. We're going to just do it along the way. 
I decided not to make Mars surface exploration a requirement of crude Mars exploration. Uh, and <laughs> well, that, that was basically up to me because we just, I mean, I got to create the program, didn't I? And that's just how it's going to be. So we're going to just go ahead with it and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's probably the most interesting thing to do. So I'm going to pick it up. I mean, I also deliberately made it four slots so I could pick it up. And then as far as the space station is concerned, we'll add a power module to the station. And I mean, I can't even pick up these contracts. So what I think I might do is I might do the contracts. I might leave them for 60 days and show that I left them for 60 days and then just eliminate the requirement. In other words, uh, yeah, just eliminate that section in the program so that eventually we'll have the only two requirements and they, we will have fulfilled them and we'll leave it at that. So yeah, that I think will be the plan. And that will allow us to do some of the other flyby missions that we have here. I do want to try and complete as much as possible, but not such that it's redundant. We also have to think about, maybe we'll be sending the Mark III pod with the crew to Mars. But I don't know how, how much heat protection, we might want to think about exactly how we're going to bring them back too. There's a lot of testing that needs to be done. So alright, uh, I lost my alarms because I restored the save after those errors. And what we want to do is cook up some sort of Mars mission to prepare ourselves. Uh, and make sure it's all built in 4 and 15 days. So let me think about that and come back to you with the results. So we're not going to immediately try to land on Mars, but just to get a sense of what we might require, because we have to start planning all that, uh, I decided to mock up a potential Mars lander as trim as possible, and, well, we're probably going to need a larger launch pad and rocket, let's face it. But the contract for the crewed Mars landing will require us to land two people. And so I've got the Mark 1 lander can advance. You can't really see it there. Uh, but that's what we've got here. And I've tried to get all that might require for a quick landing. Of course, not a long stay. Uh, except I've uh, put... Okay, I probably shouldn't do that. And I probably need a ladder there. Uh, let's just get that right first. Uh, I wanted the air brakes because well, it might help slow us down, and that's sort of important around Mars. But I noticed that the air brakes, interestingly enough, even though they have this skin temp here, uh, have actually a, a different extended skin max temp, 1200, and a different retracted skin max temp, 2400. So, completely different there. But as I put on the ladder, the, so I've got this, and it's about 16 tons, it's got the parachutes, it's got the drogue chutes, it's got the main chutes, but it doesn't have heat shielding. And that's an interesting question, right? We, we don't have the inflatable heat shield right now. And probably trying to put a large enough heat shield on this is going to be a pain in the rear end. Uh, I like the inflatable heat shield. That's probably the way to go, but I don't know where we get it. I guess they can hop up like that. Uh, and for our lander, we also can't be using hydrolocks. Well, maybe we can. Maybe we can. If we got... 100 MLI layers, would the hydrogen still sort of persist all, all the way to Mars or not? I don't know. But tentatively, I'm thinking of unlocking the AJ-10-138. Now that throws my plans out the window because I really wanted the AJ-10-190. And that's because it's slightly more efficient and also has a longer rated burn time. This is restricted to 7 minutes and 30 seconds. And that's not long enough for us for a lot of things. It's okay for now if we have two, but you know, well, we might want longer burn time engines, but at least has unlimited ignitions. So the problem is that it uses Aerozine 50 and NTO, and so now I have to unlock Aerozine 50 and NTO, RCS thrusters and all that business, Aerozine and NTO, uh, 3.6 kilonewton thrusters for these. So yeah. I have been wanting to use MHN Mon 3 because of the AJ-10-190, but we haven't gotten that yet. So that is a thing there. But you can see the two-stage configuration because that makes it lighter, hopefully. And we have one stage with the 3.6 kilonewton thrusters 
and that barely gets more than a thrust weight ratio of one for Mars. Right. Go to Mars here, barely. And same for this stage. So it's not great, but we're trying to see if we cut it close with the Mark 1 lander can and all that, what we can do. And the problem is our rocket here can't even toss this over to Mars, much less have a capture stage or something like that. Of course we could aero capture, but we don't have the heat shield right now. But even with this, just this, this 3362, and so that's not good. We probably want a larger launcher. I mean, if we dock a lot of stuff together, it might work. A lot of, lot of stuff. So I'll think about that. But for now, uh, we're setting that aside for now, we are going to consider the smaller landers that are going to allow us to test things and we're going to throw a bunch of them at Mars and see what works. Okay, so this will be our first attempt at a Mars lander probe, or I think it's our first attempt. Maybe we've tried it before, I'm not sure. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've done such things, but we've, since we've sent things to Mars, but I don't think we have tried to land on Mars. Uh, so we do have the antenna, and we should have internal comms as well for communicating with our local satellites on the, uh, beforehand. Uh, we've got uh, telemetry, pressure, temperature, visual imaging too, and that's because uh, instead of having the better cameras, uh, I wanted ones that were lightweight. So yeah, no, I wanted the comms, and yes, we have the comms level for the local business. Um, was there a benefit to not having... well, the idle power is only 8 watts, so that's probably a good idea. Um, it's not going to be active once we leave Earth space. So, uh, we're putting it on the Deneb A3. We've got a 2 meter heat shield and 1 ton probe. So that's going to give us a ballistic coefficient that we can work with, 1 ton on a 2 meter heat shield. We've got retractable solar panels because we would like to extend them again after entry into Mars atmosphere. And then we have 3.6 kil... well actually 1.78 kilonewton thrusters, or 2 kilonewton, something like that, with Erzine and NTO because now I've unlocked it, why not? Uh, and those will be our lander engines. I wish we had more conformal sort of lander engines, but uh, aside from vernier engines of various types, I didn't see anything that would fit the bill, and those vernier engines do not have many ignitions and stuff like that. Like that one, I mean, that would have sort of looked good, but um, we can't use it. So, and of course we have uh, drogue chutes and main chutes, Kevlar, uh, the whole nine yards, the usual Mars thing and we will see how it goes. We will launch many of these to Mars, I think, and uh, really it doesn't take too long to build them, so that's nice. Maybe they've increased the build speed, I'm not sure. So it's this aspect ratio. It's possible that the little engines are gonna blow up. Uh, I've thought of that, but you know, we, we have to see somehow. Now something else I want to test is to boil off along the way, right? Now we only have 25 MLI layers at the moment, and I would like to see if oh we've got uh, this is the Denim A3 right I uh, let's let's have four why not right no downside in this case uh, it should be within our pad limits and everything uh, and that'll give us more remaining propellant up here so we want to not up here up here uh, so we want to have this hang out with us all the way to Mars and see how the boil off is like. And right now we have 25 units of MLI, but I'd, I'm sure that's not enough to hang on to much of the propellant. So we are going to unlock some extra MLI layers. So this is a Deneb A4 now, and L for landing on the name. We'll continue the naming of them as Duna. And oh, oh there's an extra booster here. Uh oh. Okay, now this looks fine maybe. Uh, let's go to the tech tree and unlock those MLI layers. No, we'll need some extra solar panels on that stage to power the controller there. Oh, uh, I, yeah, I don't know if we can turn it off or have it on low power mode. So, well, there's 100, but can we just get it straight? Composite fairings might be good too. Got 221,000 unlock credit, but we might need it for other things. But all right, we've got that now. So we'll have a few Mars landing variants of this, but maybe we should 
try and get something over to Phobos and Deimos just for science. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be the Mars Lander one, and we'll probably build four of them actually, just to get a variance on how things might go. And we're going to have full MLI layers here to see what the boil off is with the hydrogen and oxygen on a full trip to Mars, so that we can see what we can do about that. Uh, or whether it's viable to send the Hydrolox stage to capture into orbit around Mars or something like that, or even land. So, uh, that is the idea. Let me build a... Oh, wait. Ah, vessel contains... Okay, so they've made changes. <laughs> uh, I think it's the controller, and it, it's got tank type not found. They, they've changed it to battery 1, 2, so all our craft will have to be changed. Tilting the engines out like this isn't efficient, but in this case, I don't get to use my nifty extendable engines that I always use. So, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with that. Okay, now can we build it? No, this every single avionics unit has to be fixed. Well, at least I don't have to retool them. Okay, seems like now it might be good. All right, got one, two, three, four, and let me cook up some potential Deimos or Phobos landers. Well, I've decided to just take off the stuff that won't be necessary for landing on Phobos or Deimos and increase the size of the controller since we had a one-ton controller and I wanted to fill up this tank now. We were underutilizing it on the Mars lander probes, but now we're fully utilizing it and this is a previously tooled three-ton controller, otherwise the antenna and solar panels are the same, and we just move the engines down here so they act as landing legs for Phobos or Deimos, and added a center one just so that we have a mounting point that's a little bit more convenient, and move the RCS thrusters so that they're down here. And it's as simple as that, I think we'll try that. And of course this will try to capture itself into orbit around Mars, and then land on Phobos or Deimos, and we're trying to do that with 4,185. If we take a look at the estimates for this window, um, insertion says 2,000 meters per second, which is not bad. And so, and that's to a final orbit of 100, so that's pretty tight. So if that goes well, then that gives us an extra 2,000 to work with as far as going to Phobos and Deimos. Depends exactly how much delta V we have here for the transfer. And I've called it Ike 1. Because, well, I guess Phobos and Deimos are sort of like Ike. And okay, we'll build two of these, let's say. Now, it's a long time to the Mars window, so we will pick up that station solar contract and add the solar panels to the station, because otherwise our Kerbals cannot stay there for more than 60 days. So, uh, we are going to save this and we're going to build this one. And before I forget, let me pick up that contract. It's probably not intended to be like that. So uh, we do have the four kilowatts and we certainly have the docking port. I don't know if it'll read properly, but we'll see. I guess we should hire more people, huh? Well, I mean, it's not... We could just remove some people from this. We'll uh, mix that up a little bit. These are all gonna be done pretty quickly, it looks like. I mean, wow, just a month uh, a rocket right there. So I think we can take some people off of this pad. Oh, um, oh, it's max of 994 nine, anyway. The window is July 25th, 2020. Yeah, I think in real life that... that, that I guess they that for realism they should simulate the pandemic or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be rough to make that. But anyway, as far as building the rockets are concerned, we will make that easily. We'll get that done on January 1st, apparently. So, August 18th, and we can get this done in this episode at least. Ah, uh, you know what? We needed to add some nitrogen to the station as well. That it was leaking that. So, actually, I'm going to roll this back and toss the nitrogen in first. This has plenty of extra delta V we don't need, so... Ah, uh, should be good enough. It'll be a little bit ahead of us. We can catch up. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and, well, I don't want bearings right there, but, ignition, okay, 
and launch. And off we go, adding a new solar truss to the station. Okay, booster set. Okay, well, the uh, G forces are pretty high, but I'll try fairing set. Yeah, okay, good enough. Actually, we should probably deorbit this stage anyway. Oop. Okay, well, that's good enough for deorbit, I think. All right, uh, now everything can happen at once there. Separation. All right, we're good to go. Um, it, I think, accepts that this has enough power, so that's good. Hey, we have the makings of a rendezvous. Oh, we have a blackout spot. Haven't seen that in a while. So we might want to take a note of that. Okay, getting closer. Station 2, not Station 1. Very important to be rendezvousing with the right station. Okay, now on caps lock. The trusses were properly sized so that the solar panels will be spaced out. Actually, these panels are somewhat larger than the other ones, and it looks like we did fulfill the contract. Oh, cannot deploy while stowed. It's that thing again. Okay, well now we have 108,000 liters of nitrogen on board. It says we're using 824 microliters per second, but it sure seemed a lot more than that. But then again, you know, Seconds do add up after a while. Um, so let me go to the tracking station and come back and fix the cannot deploy while stowed thing, hopefully. Okay, can we deploy the solar panels now? Yes, we can. Okay, so the station is better off than it was before. These panels are a little bit bigger than the other ones, but not too much bigger. And, well, I'm sure in daylight it'll be getting its power back quite nicely. There we are. So that's what the station looks like right now. Um, I suppose it's too much to hope for that the contract system will now read this as the station, right? Uh, maybe you'll be reminded that this is in fact the station that we have been talking about here. I doubt that's going to happen. Well, it still has add a power module to the station one. I guess this is a repeatable contract. Um, well, I mean, to be fair, that sort of is true. You can always send more power modules. We did complete. Yeah, we did complete it, but it seems to be repeatable. So, but no, it didn't help our situation down here at all. Station exists met. Station exists unmet. Very complicated. All right, well, we do have quite a lot of science there, so maybe we should speed up our very long list of research here. And we, of course, have some money now, too. But we have a limit on researchers, right? We, uh, we have applicants and such, but I think we can only have a thousand researchers. Uh, oh, no, it seems like we can hire more. Maybe... Oh, research limit unlimited now at facility level 2. Okay, well that's something they've changed that I actually am thankful for. Uh, so, alright, uh, let's hire some more researchers. They do cost quite a lot of money though. We're pushing, let's spend a million on them I guess, maybe. Okay, there it is. Our research bu budget is a million. And so that's sped up our research and we'll have advanced nuclear propulsion by 2021 so that might be good and you know we've got a thousand science to spend on other things but i won't decide that right now so yeah sorry about just doing the one launch and having a whole lot of explanation but we have to go through the whole business of me basically creating the crude mars exploration program i don't know if you approve of how it was done or or what we've got here 
But if you've got suggestions, by all means, go for it. Otherwise, we will make do with what we've got. And if you have a suggestion for how to deal with the Earth Space Station issue, I would love to hear it. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.